Hello everyone and welcome to this live webcast, 10 Engineering Document Management Challenges You Can Solve in Three Weeks. Now, the challenges we'll be discussing today are common to most organizations, regardless of size or industry. Addressing them can seem overwhelming at times. Our goal is to shed light on these challenges and the impact that they may have on your business and to show you how to eliminate them in a very short period of time with ADEPT, like many other organizations have already done. First, a little context on the, the title of this event. When we say you can solve these problems in about three weeks, the, the time period is related to a typical ADEPT installation, including administrator training, user training, configuration, uh, and import of your existing designs and business documents. The whole process usually takes between one to four weeks from start to finish. Now, just so you know who's speaking here, my name is Chris Fabry, and I'm going to be your guide for today. So Synergis has been successful at this for quite a while. Uh, we've had particular emphasis on addressing the array of challenges facing engineering organizations of all sizes in many different industries across the globe. Today, more than 40,000 users benefit from our flagship product, Adept. Our software is made here in America in our Pennsylvania facilities, and our clients are located all over the globe. Many of the world's best companies use Adept. And these are just a few examples. Most important, we want you to be aware of why Synergis is the right partner for engineering data management. We have a team of experts with highly relevant experience that extends far beyond any other organization. A software development team, QA, application engineers, project managers, and support staff with experience in a wide range of CAD products, most of whom are experts in the field of enterprise engineering data management. We take a consultative approach with our clients, understanding your goals, requirements, legacy data, processes and sim systems before recommending the solution for you and before beginning that implementation. We offer a complete range of services to help you move from where you are today to a solution that helps you become vastly more organized, efficient, collaborative, and profitable. Now, with that brief background, let's begin. Our format will be to discuss one of the most common challenges our customers had before implementing data management. Then I'll summarize how it's addressed with ADEPT, and I'll demonstrate that to you. And then we'll go on to the next challenge. So we've heard from thousands of organizations concerned about document security. It's a top challenge for any IT group Proprietary engineering information is located in folders across the enterprise, sometimes even on a user's local hard drive. And this information needs to be easily and safely accessible by other departments. Now, without a secure vaulting system to protect the files, the organization's proprietary engineering information is at risk of being lost, misplaced, deleted, or even stolen. In fact, one of our earliest clients came to us because they had a disgruntled employee walk out the door with proprietary designs and took them to a competitor. So in today's world where efficiency is of utmost importance and project collaboration involves other departments and sites, granular control over access rights is essential. And Windows does not offer the level of control that's required to effectively support design project collaboration. And project or CAD managers can't make changes to the access rights on the fly according to a project's demands or as they end up relying on IT who's very, very busy and that can take quite a while to get changes made to access rights. So, Document management, like ADEPT, is going to provide single or multi-site companies with secure, controlled access to documents from any location. Whether you require a centralized document vault or distributed vaults at each location, administrators, ha administrators have significantly greater control over user and group access rights 
than you get with Windows. You have complete control over who can view, print, mark up, copy, check in and out, approve, assign, edit metadata fields, edit file relationships, move, rename, delete, and, and a bunch more. Document management offers flexibility in determining who administers user access rights. IT staff is not required to manage these rights, and it's often done by a project manager, CAD manager, or document control specialist. So let's take a peek at this. Now here in ADEPT, we have one location where all of the access rights are assigned. In fact, this is the same window location where you add additional folders on your network for ADEPT to manage, or other vault locations at other sites. Very simply, if I select a certain folder or project, these groups of people have rights. These groups have no rights whatsoever. They have no ability to see the folder or any of the documents within it. So for example, if we decide at this point we want purchasing now to have access to that project, they now have access. And then, as I mentioned, granular rights, I can give them the rights to view the files. I can give them the rights to edit the files take part in a workflow and approve or reject the documents, or even do document management level tasks. But in this case, I want to give them only viewing rights, but when they're in the viewer, don't allow them to make prints. Gray out that option for this group in that project. In fact, also don't allow them to save copies. So in this case, I want them to be able to view it, maybe mark it up, and I'll also allow them to assign it back to one of these other individuals to actually make the changes. So as you can see, you can go to a much more granular level of access rights than you can with Windows rights. All right. Let's try this here, and we'll go on to the next one. Now, as the number of documents your organization needs to manage continues to grow and the need to share and collaborate across departments and sites increases, the limitations of Windows Explorer as a document management solution becomes obvious. Companies of all sizes struggle to provide a way for people to find documents fast, regardless of their location or how they've been named. Companies usually attempt to organize their files in an intelligent folder structure. Some even have a standard for how people are to name the files so that they can more easily be retrieved later. But these processes are manual and errors occur. Files are placed in the wrong folder. Complete folders are accidentally copied or moved inside other folders. People name files using their own conventions instead of the standard. And the problems are exponential if you have to collaborate with other departments, sites, or contractors. Each group has their own way of doing things, and that makes it even more difficult to find work created by somebody else. Windows Explorer doesn't track relevant metadata about each file. Things like project name, job number, part number, description, discipline, who the designer was. There's no way to search against this kind of information to find the file you need. And all this means time is wasted searching for files and recreating files that just can't be found. ADEPT allows you to search or browse for documents based on whatever you know about the file, regardless of the file's location on your global network. One search and you quickly find all relevant documents located anywhere. ADEPT's full text search capability allows users to search the contents of documents managed by ADEPT. And with ADEPT, you can track any information you want about your files. ADEPT will automatically track attribute and property data contained inside of AutoCAD, Inventor, SolidWorks, or Microsoft Office files. And you can search the database using any combination of this information to find exactly what you're looking for. ADEPT also allows you to find files by browsing based on any combination of metadata fields being tracked. Unlike Windows Explorers, users are not limited to browsing for files solely based on the location within the file system. So let's take a peek at this one here. 
So locating files in the depth, one method is a quick search. If I happen to know part of a file name, I can type that in, and now I'm presented with a list of every file that I have access to that begins with L-A-Y. Even though two of these files might be in one folder, five of them might be in a subfolder 10 levels deep, five of them might be stored on a different server at our other office. I don't really care where they're physically located, I just very quickly want to find all the files that begin with L-A-Y. And that quick search can be done on other fields of data, not just the file name. It can be done on the job number or the discipline or the designer's initials or the project manager's name or whatever field of information you want to track. These are just my own examples. Adept also has the ability to do full text search. For example, if I know I'm looking for a file that has the word initial somewhere in that document, I can locate every file that has the word initial inside of it. It doesn't have to be an attribute, it doesn't have to be a property, it just has to be text inside of that file. And I accidentally forgot to turn that on earlier. Bear with me, I'm just going to quickly turn that on, sorry about that. It's a service that runs in the background. So if I try that one more time, <laughs> what's a demonstration without an error? So here I'll locate all the files that have that in there. Now, Full text search work, works on a lot of different file types, as you can see, but not all. Full text search won't find words inside of a JPEG or a bitmap or a TIFF image. It's strictly actual text within documents. I also mentioned a file guide view. The idea of a file guide view is that it will pre, have predefined sortings, and our customers get to create these and design them to suit what their groups will want to use. For example, here, I've asked Adept, show me everything I have, or I have access to, but show me the building name first. So just by clicking on this, I find everything involved with that building, even though, again, these could be in all different folders. I don't have to go and hunt each of those down. Now, if I want to narrow my list down, in this case, the next level is the discipline. So I can pick a specific discipline and see only the files that are that discipline and that building. So one group may have been waiting for this organization forever, and they didn't like the old folder structure, so now they've got a way within two or three mouse clicks, they've found the files that they want without having to know the folder structure. But another group may want them organized completely different. They want them maybe organized by the state that it's in, then the city, or the project name, and then the discipline, or the job number, and then the product type. So as adept administrators, you get to create these different file guide views that users can choose from to very quickly drill down to their documents just knowing some basic or general information about the files that they're looking for. All right. The next one, version control. Manual methods of document version control are really difficult and prone to error. And as you guys are probably aware, the mistakes are really costly. In companies without document control, it's common to find multiple versions of a document across the organization. You may have a copy of a document on the network, a user's hard drive, and you might also have paper copies floating around as well which really is making it virtually impossible to determine which is the correct version. If an incorrect version makes it to a client, contractor, or the manufacturing floor, it can be expensive and unfortunate mistake. Now, ADEPT serves as your central point for document access and automatically ensures all users always find the latest version of a document. Previous versions can be automatically saved, and when files are checked out, a copy of the file is placed in the user's work area, and the master file is locked safely on the server. Other users may view the original document or copy it for reuse on another project or another job, but only one user can edit a document at a time. This ensures users are not overwriting each other's work. When a file is checked in after editing, it becomes the latest version that others will see, and the original is saved as a revision. ADEPT can track both major and minor revisions, and can also automatically incre increment your own custom revision field that may be contained on your drawing title block. Last, ADEPT helps to control your hard copy output as well, placing watermarks 
on the output that indicates the file status, such as released, valid for 24 hours, or under revision, not for production, or whatever you choose to be your nomenclature. Let's take a peek at that. So as we can see here, if I select this document, any of the search methods that I mention only show me the latest version. That's it. I can see that this is Rev 6 right here. But down below in the revision tab is where you can see older versions of that document. And Adept keeps track of a new version the minute somebody signs out that document. <coughs> Excuse me for one second. Sorry about that. Um, so ADEPT will keep track of those ADEPT versions down below. We also have, as you can see, an, a revision field. This is for your own revisions, so you can decide what columns you're seeing down below here. I can set up a certain column set of information that I want to see, and that will show me that information about each of those older versions. So users, when they need to get back to an older version, if they have the rights to do so, they can do so right here. They don't need to call up IT, ask them to look at some backups. You know, I'm thinking it was back in July of 2012. You know, can you find me this file name? And then play that game of, nope, that's not the one. Let's try June of 2012. Um, all the older versions are stored and, and managed and displayed right here for users that have the rights. Other users may not have any rights to do anything with these older versions. Oops, I figured I'd pick the wrong one. Now, the next challenge is an audit trail. Maintaining a complete audit trail for each document throughout its life cycle is important, not only for internal analysis and process optimization, but also for compliance with different industry standards and regulations. Each day, many files in an organization are created, changed, viewed, printed, moved, renamed, referenced, copied, and so forth. Organizations that lack an audit trail are exposed opera operationally and in many cases legally. Operationally, there's no ability to analyze workflow and other file activities to identify inefficiencies and bottlenecks and to be able to improve pr processes. Legally, there may be a time when you need to prove uh, of the actions taken on a given file, when and by whom. This is simply too much going on in any business to not be tracking what's going on with your corporate documents. And without an audit trail, it's really challenging, time-consuming, and expensive to comply with industry standards and regulations or attain industry certifications. ADEPT's aud electronic audit trail provides your company a simple method to understand the complete history of each document. Authorized users can see the ongoing activity history for of a file, including what action was taken, by whom, and the date and time the action occurred. So leveraging ADEPT's electronic information tracking capability dramatically reduces the time and effort it takes to comply with industry standards and regulations and gain industry certifications, such as ISO 9000 or 9001 or QS 9000 or AS 9100 or the FDA's uh, 21 CFR Part 11. Sarbanes-Oxley, there's more than a couple out there. So being able to track that is really important for many of our customers. And just to show you a quick example, if I go to, uh, I'm going to go to a different organization here. If I go to this assembly, actually I'm going to pick on this one right here, and I look at the audit trail, I can see who has viewed it, who has signed it in, signed it out, if they've approved it, rejected it, marked it up, printed it, saved a copy, any of those actions, including if somebody comes in and says, you know, I need to send this out in an email, um, I have the rights to do this. Some users may not have the rights to do this. I can send the links or the actual files, go and grab all the parts and sub-assemblies for me, zip it up, I can even put a password on it. So I can do that right from within ADEPT and send that off to whoever I need to. But you'll notice it says that a send command was done on this date and this time by this user on this version of this file. All of this information is accessible 
Yeah, let me just send it off here. Yeah, sorry, I don't need to send it off. I think you guys understand how email works. Um, so all of this information is searchable and reportable. So administrators can do things like show me all the files that Chris Fabry has signed out in the past month. Maybe he's leaving on sabbatical and he's not going to be around for a while. I want to all at once assign them to somebody else to work on. All right, the next one. For many organizations, the engineering change process is inefficient and prone to human error. It's extremely difficult to streamline a process or enforce it when it's all done manually or through email. And there's no visibility to the status of the engineering change. Where is it in the process and where is it going to be going to next? Who's already seen it? Who hasn't seen it? For some organizations, engineering change is a way of life and the inefficiencies are expensive in terms of cost, resources, and timelines. Similarly, organizations have other processes they need to have documents go through a workflow more efficiently, and they're lacking a good way to automate those workflows. ADEPT's integrated workflow capabilities help organizations improve productivity across and, and accuracy across the enterprise. With ADEPT, it's simple to create, manage, and reuse workflows, and they're easy to change as your business needs change. Some documents may have no workflow associated with them at all, and others may have a very simple or more complex workflow. It's all up to you. You have complete control and peace of mind that your documents are flowing through your organization the way you want them to. And with ADEPT, you can see the status of an engineering change or any other document as it goes through its predefined workflow process. Multiple notification methods are there to help ensure work and approvals get done in a timely way, and alerts can be set to notify individuals of a bottleneck or a delay. So let's take a peek at how this might work. So right from within ADEPT, if I wanted to uh, create a change notice, I can just select the File New command, and I can pick the change notice document template, and you can have any of your company templates in here. I might be selecting a vacation request form, a new drawing, a, an expense form, or any document at all. All your templates can be managed by ADEPT. I can name the change request, or I can use our auto naming feature. Maybe I wanted to set up a naming convention. In this case, it's either going to be ECN or ECR. I gave uh, the users a choice of which one they want at the beginning, a dash, and then ADEPT assigned it a next available number. So this will create a brand new change request based on this template with this naming convention. Oops, and it will place it in my work area right here. I can just double click it to launch it in the appropriate program. And this is just a Word document with property fields that are set up to be gray, so they kind of stand out. I'll be real specific, make a change. You can do the same thing with Excel spreadsheets as well as Word documents. And everybody always wants it done yesterday. So I spent time filling in this document. And when I get back to ADEPT, you'll notice in a second, there it goes, it just read all that information right into the library card. So I don't have to retype information. I'm not ha uh, worried about people double entering data and making sure that it comes in correctly or not. In fact, some of our customers don't even open up the Word document in Word. If you have the rights to, I can check this off and fill it in right here and hit save, and that'll populate the Word document. So ADEPT is able to push as well as pull property information from Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and many other CAD file formats as well. At this point, I may say I would like this change notice to be related to this design. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, they're also going to need a photograph that somebody took of the issue and a PDF specification about why that change should have been made earlier. So this way, the change notice process is not, here's a change notice and go find the other files. ADEPT is keeping track of those right here. People don't have to go to those other folders to find them. They're all listed as a relationship to this one document. At this point, I can decide to sign it in. 
And now because this particular folder has a red check mark or has a workflow, it'll begin, excuse me, it'll begin that workflow process. So just by signing it in, it may kick off an email notification to let somebody know that it's their turn to come and review that workflow process. The email notification is an option. You don't have to use email notification. We also have this inbox right here. Anytime somebody logs into Adept and they see that yellow and blue envelope sticking out with a mailbox opened up, that means files need their attention. So email notification is an option. You can turn that on or off for different steps and different parts of the workflow process, or you can just rely on users to come through their inbox. And I should have started up my email earlier. There we go. So this is notifying Janet, Adam, and Chris that this file has been put into the ECN workflow. It's on this step of the workflow. And all of the ADEPT notification sends a small link. Rather than sending out copies of all these files, one of the things that we want to help you folks do is cut down on the number of documents that are being emailed all over. Um, there's lots of issues with emailing documents. Number one, they can be forwarded on to anybody. Number two, if Janet, Adam, and Chris are out this week, and then they come in next week, if this was an attachment, they think they're working with the latest version, and they could be spending a lot of wasted time editing those files without realizing that that file is now old, whereas a link is always going to launch Adept and bring them right to the latest version. But as I mentioned, the inbox is also an option. In fact, I see a lot of our customers start their day in their inbox. These are all the files that have been assigned to me to work on, or files that are in a review process in a workflow. And it's my turn to either approve them or reject them. I can see what step it's currently on and what steps of the process it still has to go through before it becomes the new approved version. I can right click and print this information out or even ask ADEPT who are the people that have the rights to approve it on this step. And it tells me Janet, Adam, or Chris. So workflow is something that you'll get to design your own workflows for whatever purposes you want. I'm going to open up this one just to take a peek at it. I can add and remove steps, rearrange the order. I can set up emails to go out on final approval. Maybe I need several people just to be notified at the end of this process. Maybe they're not even adept users, but I do need them to be notified when it hits the end of the process. I can also set up alerts. Maybe we as a group have decided that this ECN workflow should not take more than two days. But if it does, I would like a reoccurring email to go out every day to Chris Fabry until that gets addressed. And by the way, one of the things we usually recommend to our customers is not to over notify by email, to slowly turn on some of the email notification uh, as necessary so that people don't get over uh, email notified. Now, I'm going to open up one of these steps of the email, uh, excuse me, of the workflow. I can add and remove groups of people. I can decide, do I want just one of them to approve it? Or would I feel more comfortable if two out of those three? Any two, any order, they can even be reviewing them at the exact same time. But as soon as the second one of that group approves it, move it on to the next step. So you can have people reviewing things in parallel, as opposed to waiting one step at a time. And there's a whole host of other options down here. Many of our customers, when they first start using workflow, they use fewer options. Either these people say yay or nay, it goes forward or it goes backwards, and that's it. And then as time goes on and they start uh, to get comfortable with the workflow, they roll out some of the other options, like can they reroute to other workflows? Can they skip over steps? Can they sign out the file and make changes in, on their step of the process? The idea with the debt workflow is that you get to design these different workflows and you get to change them whenever you want to. We help our customers create the first couple, but in most cases after that's done, they usually ask us to move on to another topic that they'll then work out their other processes when they're ready to add them into the system. All right. Challenge number six, transmittals. For those of you that have to send out letters of transmittals, this is a big one. So in today's global economy, many organizations partner with specialized engineering or manufacturing contractors. Now, although these strategies uh, offer efficiencies, 
It in, ends up increasing the collaboration with third parties and it presents unique challenges. The complexity of working with third parties locally or throughout the world makes it difficult to distribute and retrieve critical engineering information. In addition, organizations need to maintain an audit trail that keeps track of all the content with regard to their products or projects. This process of creating transmittals, developing the cover sheet, gathering all the relevant documents and their reference files, and ensuring that they're the correct versions, uh, PDFing the files and zipping them up for distribution, it's time consuming and mistakes are made. Tracking the transmittal package after it's been sent and being sure that it's easily accessible is also difficult for most organizations. ADEPT's transmittal automation feature makes the process of creating, editing, and sending, and tracking transmittals easy and fast. It reduces the chance of errors compared to paper-based transmittal processes. And because transmittals are created from within ADEPT, your single point of document access control, you can rest assured that you have the correct document versions and any reference files that may be required. So let's take a peek at this one. Very much like when I created the change notice, I can also say I want to create a transmittal. Here too, I can pick from the different transmittal templates that, I'm, that I've been using. In this case, I'm going to select an architectural template. Here too, I might have a naming convention set up for our transmittals. In this example, all of my transmittals start with a TR, a dash, a user, project number, put in a dash, and again, ADEPT will assign it the next available number. There's also the option down here to say, I want to create two of them or three of them, and it'll number them sequentially. This creation of files based on templates is also a great tool to use for CAD managers. I can come in and say, OK, I know this job is going to need five D-sized drawings, and I'd like them, whoops, and I'd like them all organized uh, and, and named consistently. ADEPT will create all five of those CAD D-sized drawings, number them sequentially, and then I can select them all at once and with a batch update, edit all of the title block information at one time. I don't have to open up each file and put in the job number or the project name and do that over and over and over again. So it's a very quick way of batch updating the title block information. Now, this creates a PDF for your transmittal. And all the editing for the transmittal is done from within a dialog box. So in here, I can choose a specific company I want to send this to, and it fills in their address. So I don't have to retype that every time. It gives me a listing of contacts for that particular company. I can also create a distribution list that might be 5, 10, 50 different people. And you can create your own fields that will show up on the transmittal. For example, I created a return by date, um, how I'm going to ship this, I'm going to ship it via email. Um, I also had some reason codes that my vendor knows what these things mean in here. But this is adding information to the cover letter of the transmittal. So I don't have to have Adobe writing software, it's all part of a depth. So you can see it's already filled in the address whose attention it's to, the transmittal number, the reason code, and when it has to be returned by. Now, I don't have any files listed here yet. Let's do that next. That can be a really long job as well. In ADEPT, I just simply right-click and say Attachments. And now I can pick a file here. I can go over here, perform another search. I can say I would like this drawing right here. And in a completely different project, I want uh, the, this file right here. So what ADEPT will do now is it'll go and gather all the information, the metadata about those files, put them inside the transmittal, and create a yellow icon relationship or a transmittal relationship to those attachments. So now I know what goes with what. I don't have to squirrel all these away in a separate folder somewhere so I can remember what I sent out. I don't have to hunt through emails to find them. And you'll notice if we get a quick preview of the uh, transmittal now, you can see it's, I chose document, revision, project, discipline, and who it was drawn by. You folks will get to design your own templates. ADEPT comes with a form generator to create your own templates, your own style. 
Now in this example, I've created the transmittal and I'm ready to sign it in. For a lot of our customers, when they have transmittals created, they may have one or two people that create transmittals, but they may want them reviewed before they're able to be signed out. So if, if in this case I do not have a workflow on this folder, but if I did, it would sign in the transmittal and notify the people that need to review that transmittal before it can be sent out. And again, if that file was a status of review, the option to send it out will be grayed out so nobody can send it out until it gets approved. When you send out a transmittal, there's quite a few options. I can send just the transmittal cover letter by itself in the email. For a lot of our customers, these files might be too big to send an email. So they might have to put them on an FTP site, or as you can see in the background, a buzzsaw site or a Dropbox location. I could have my FTP site location right here as well. So I could just drag and drop the actual attachments right to that location, and that will update that site location. Or I can send just ADEPT links. Maybe I'm sending it to a vendor of ours that's using one of the ADEPT web clients or even the desktop client, and they have limited access to view and comment on these documents and mark them up. Or I can ask ADEPT to include the documents in the email. I can also ask it to zip them up. Or I can ask the ADEPT viewer that we're going to see in a little while here to open each of these drawings for me and save them as a PDF and send the PDF instead of the actual drawings. But whatever method you end up choosing, ADEPT will package all those files up, put them in an email, and then I can send it off. But the key here is now six months go by or nine months goes by and Janet calls up our company and says hey I got a transmittal from somebody about six or nine months ago um, I'm not sure if I've got the latest files or not well if that person that created it isn't the one that they're talking to they may have no idea what was sent or when in adept I can very quickly say show me all the transmittal sent to Janet I can locate it and down here in the audit trail I can see who created this transmittal when they created it what files they attached and who they emailed it to so all of this is being kept track of inside of adept very easy to go back and show exactly what files and what file versions went out to that person and when all right let's look at the next one here Mark, uh, making 2D and 3D designs available to other team members, departments, and contractors within and outside your enterprise is essential for nearly every organization. These non-CAD users need to view designs from their own desktop or terminal and mark up proposed changes as required. The design review calls for a way to track and manage input from multiple people and for better visualization tools to compare changes between two versions, check for interferences, and allow the users to take measurements. Converting native files to neutral file formats like PDF is an option, but it takes time and adds a second copy of each document to manage. And having to use different viewers for each file format complicates the IT infrastructure and adds IT overhead and user training as well as purchasing and maintaining expensive CAD seats is both overkill and expensive. Each license of ADEPT includes and is tightly integrated with Oracle's AutoView visualization software, the premier solution for enterprise-wide viewing, markup, and compare. ADEPT provides native support for hundreds of file formats, including 3D CAD parts and assemblies, 2D CAD drawings, electronic and PC board layouts and schematics, scanned and raster documents, office documents, graphics files. With ADEPT, stakeholders across the extended enterprise can access critical data and provide feedback at all stages of the design process and project life cycle, reducing communication barriers and project costs while accelerating the project completion times. ADEPT delivers native document viewing, allowing users to view and interrogate original documents. ADEPT's multi-user markup capabilities allow team members to collaborate on designs and project information. Team members can communicate feedback 
change requests, comments, and instructions in an effective and timely manner through markups and real-time collaboration. And ADEPT allows users to compare different versions of 2D drawings or 3D models to see what's changed. Let's take a peek at this. So right from within ADEPT, I can locate different documents. I'm going to go up to a folder structure here and select this assembly. So right from within ADEPT, I can right click and view. In fact, you can even set up your double click action to automatically load up this viewer. This viewer, as I mentioned, comes with every license of ADEPT, whether you're talking about the desktop application, which we've been seeing so far, or even the web client, which we'll see a little bit later on. But users are going to be able to zoom in and out, take measurements, snap to endpoints, even go in and analyze the document. Uh, they can cut sections. Maybe their job is to create supporting documents. They don't need CAD software on their system in order to be able to do this. They just need the ADEPT viewer. And some users won't be able to output this in any other format, whereas other users may have the rights to come in, create an exploded view, and then output this as a PDF or a JPEG or a TIFF so they can create other supporting documents. This viewer, as I mentioned, will view hundreds and hundreds of file formats, but it also gives you the ability to view multiple documents. So in this case, if I pick the oldest version of this document and the newest version, or my version and the copy that I gave to one of our vendors, they might have renamed it and gave it back to me, I can select theirs and select mine and open them both up in the viewer. In fact, with this viewer, you could select two Word documents, an Excel spreadsheet, two drawings, and a 3D model, and say, view them all. And it'll view them all in separate tabs. With the CAD, file formats, and I want to stress 2D and 3D CAD file formats, you can also run a comparison that will highlight and color exactly what's different between those drawings. So gone are the days of having to plot them both out, tape them to a light table or to a window, and hope that it's sunny enough to be able to see what the differences are. This viewer will enable review of design changes very, very quickly. And with that, challenge number eight. So managing and sharing documents in a work group between departments or across remote sites using folders in Windows Explorer is difficult, as we mentioned earlier, and prone to error. The process of creating, editing, sharing, and storing documents is left to each individual user, and the results can be chaotic, um, as well as wasted time, costly errors, and lost productivity. Business and design documents created by one department must often be accessed by other departments locally or across locations. Document access must be easy and shouldn't require the user to know what folder the file is in on what server or even what someone may have named the file. And in multi-site environments, if the files are not replicated to each site, file access can be painfully slow coming across the wide area network, especially with large 2D and 3D CAD files. As users are taking actions on files, other users should know this automatically. This should be one version of the truth as enterprise users collaborate on projects together. Distributing uncontrolled documents via email leaves organizations without automated version control, approval process, and that audit trail that we mentioned earlier. So ADEPT is designed to serve as your central point for document access and control, managing documents stored on servers across your enterprise. Document vaults can be easily replicated to other sites. So file access for users everywhere is local, which means fast. Connected users anywhere can locate the correct version of a file quickly using ADEPT's powerful searching capabilities that we saw earlier. All users are working from a central repository, one version of the truth, so everyone is connected and teams can collaborate effect effectively. Now one method of this is via replication. 
So many of our customers have remote design teams, facilities, manufacturing plants, maintenance, procurement, and others located at different sites around the world. Vault replication provides multiple sites local access to documents in a common ADEPT format. So let's take a look at this graphically. Now here's an example where there's an ADEPT server database in Vault somewhere in North America. And this is a, a basic ADEPT configuration. Let's expand this graphic to include several satellite vaults around the world. With ADEPT's vault replication, the hub vault will replicate changed files to the satellite vaults. The replication can occur at any scheduled time interval. And if a user goes to access a file that has been changed but has not yet been replicated, ADEPT will automatically replicate the latest version to the user, ensuring everything stays in sync and that all users always access the right version. As we expand the graphic a little bit further, we see data transactions like searching, editing, metadata, or approving a document still occurring through the communication directly with the ADEPT server. But now with vault replications, all user file access is occurring locally. Files are signed in and out from the user's local file server instead of across the wide area network, saving valuable time. Now, out of the box, when a file is replicated, the entire file is transferred across the wide area network. For many of our customers, this works perfectly fine. Vault replication with binary differencing is a premium option, and this capability is unique in our market, only found otherwise in really high-end, specialized replication solutions. With the binary differencing option, only the changes between files, not the entire file, are replicated to other sites. This makes data transfers between sites rapid while using significantly less network bandwidth. Its performance improvements will benefit organizations replicating vaults that contain large 2D drawings or 3D models, and those who wish to replicate frequently throughout the day to enhance collaboration and ensure maximum productivity. Now, I mentioned earlier that we also have a web client. So in this example, I might have some of our users logging on to ADEPT through a web client. This is really nice for um, users that don't need to edit the files. If they just need to search, view, print, mark up documents, approve or reject, I can select a specific library card to search on, or I can use those file guide views or the full text search. But the methods are exactly the same. Then I can select a document to view. I can look at its library card, the relationship browser. I may be given the rights to download a zip copy of the files that I've selected. That's not signing out the file, it's just simply getting a copy if that person has the rights. I can assign or unassign. And there's actually two ADEPT web clients. One is called ADEPT Explorer and one is called ADEPT Reviewer. And they both perform exactly the same with one exception. The reviewer licenses also enable users to take part in the workflow so they can reject, approve, and reroute to other workflows. But the ability to zoom in and out, to take measurements and compare an older version to a newer version, all that's the same viewer. What's nice about this is also that there's no installation required on the user's system. They just need a web browser. The very first time they view a file, automatically that viewer plugin gets installed for them. Challenge number nine. One of the greatest challenges organizations face is effectively managing their CAD data with its complex file relationships, versioning requirements, change process, and visualization needs. Managing X-reference, image, and overlay file relationships can be a challenge in itself. And these same challenges hold true for Inventor and SOLIDWORKS, users with parts, assemblies, drawings, and configurations. In either scenario, there may be dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of file relationships within a given project or assembly. Keeping everything connecting using manual methods is difficult, especially when copying, renaming, or moving those files. 
changes made to one design may have a ripple effect on other designs, wanted or unwanted. And there's no easy way to understand the impact of these changes. There's also no way to easily control whether a parent file is fixed on a specific version of a child, or whether it floats to the latest version whenever the child is modified. And for companies that need to reuse their design files for new projects or jobs, keeping relationships and revisions intact can be even more challenging and time consuming. This granular level of control is foundational to any engineering document management system. ADEPT has been integrated with Autodesk Solutions since 91, and we've been a gold certified SOLIDWORKS PM product since 2004. Attributes from AutoCAD-based drawings and properties from Inventor and SOLIDWORKS files are automatically extracted into ADEPT, eliminating manual data re-entry and ensuring this information can be leveraged when searching for the files. Because this link is bi-directional, authorized users can update one or many attributes from the ADEPT interface in single or batch mode without having to open the files themselves. ADEPT manages and tracks AutoCAD X reference image and overlay files automatically. Now, the ADEPT interface inside AutoCAD, Inventor, and SOLIDWORKS is easy to use so designers have fast access to the information they need and good document management tools at their fingertips. ADEPT also allows users to automate the creation of an, uh, an Excel-based bill of materials from within ADEPT leveraging the file relationship information and extracted attribute and property information. So let's take a look at that. So if I come back here to ADEPT, and I'm going to locate, um, uh, let's see here, we got into viewing earlier. I want to find a slightly different file here. Let's look at the CAD integration. So right from within SOLIDWORKS, we've got something called the ADEPT task pane. This exact same task pane is what you'll see inside of AutoCAD and Inventor. It enables users to go and search based on those file guide views. They can search based on metadata. They can locate their documents. They can see a thumbnail image. They can look at the relationships and tell if anybody else is currently editing any of those other parts. They can also ask ADEPT where is it used. So I know that this assembly is referenced as a subassembly in this assembly. It's also referenced by this drawing. It's also referenced by this change notice that's currently on hold being reviewed. So all of that information is apparent to me right from within SOLIDWORKS. If I want, I can open this up read-only just to look at it. I don't have to check it out. I can just open it read-only, and then when I'm done and I close it, ADEPT will get rid of it for me. So there's no need to create additional versions when not necessary. Or I can sign it out, or even copy it and give it a new file name right here. In this case, I want to sign it out. I just simply drag and drop. ADEPT knows that SOLIDWORKS needs those other parts in order to see this document. So it copies each of the parts down to my local hard drive, and opens up the file so that everything is local. I'm not signing out any of those parts. I don't have any editing rights to those parts. I just need to see this entire design. So now everything is local. Somebody else could be working on these parts. But if I wanted to at any time, I could always right click and say I want to sign that file out. Or I can right click on it graphically and say sign it out. Or if I decide there's a whole bunch of parts that I need to modify, I can look at the ADEPT feature tree. Please keep in mind this exact same ability is within Inventor as well. So in this case, I could sign out a group of files. Or maybe in this case, I've created a new version of this part, and I want to use that new version. Let's take a look at it. Whether it look, that's the one I want. Rather than inserting it, I can do a replace. Or if there's a whole bunch, I can do a replace all. Again, just drag and drop, ADEPT will replace one with the other, and I might have to clean up the um, mate locations, but you get the idea. So the idea is that very quickly, I've got access to all the documents that are managed by ADEPT. I can see information about them. I know what's happening with those documents. I'm not going back and forth to another system. The exact same thing goes for AutoCAD. 
So right from within AutoCAD, I also have this same task pane. I can locate a document by selecting a, a building name or maybe a project name. Uh, when I find that file, I can locate it. I can see the thumbnail. I can see all the relationships, so I know if there's any X references, if anybody's working on them. Same method, if I decide I want to sign it out, I just simply drag and drop. Adept goes and fetches all the X references for me. I don't have to go and locate them, but if I change my mind, decide I want to edit one of them, I issue the same DD edit command, and Adept will ask, do you want to sign this out? And I can say yes, and then I'll be able to modify that document. Also within Adept, we have the ability to create a bill of materials. So for example, if I've got a, uh, a design right here, and I want to create a bill of materials, I can ask Adept to create that bill of materials. It'll bring up a dialog box interface. I can choose what columns of data I want to see in my bill of materials. I've got a whole bunch of different options and settings. If you've set them up once, you can also save that as a file so you don't have to re-put all that information in. Then I can decide uh, how do I want this to be created. Do I want a relationship between this bill of materials and the actual design? And I can even fix or lock it down. So this bill of materials will be related to that version of that design. If a new version of that design comes out, the bill of materials won't be related to it. And then this will output either an XML file or an Excel spreadsheet. You can choose what file formats you want to output, and it will create that document. For many of our customers, they output to an XML format in their work area, and then they assign that or give that to their ERP system so they can very quickly import that data right into their ERP or MRP system. But ADEP will keep track of exactly what file that bill material is associated with. The last one, random or inconsistent file naming conventions are the norm for many organizations with people naming files in a way that makes sense to them, but perhaps not so much to somebody else. Most organizations have attempted to put in place some form of file naming standard, but they've got no good way to automate or enforce it. So results end up being mixed at best. And with different types of documents or different departments requiring different naming conventions, really the situation becomes even more out of control. The auto naming utility included with ADEP provides powerful and flexible configuration options to make it easy for administrators to create diverse naming schemes for all departments. Administrators have the ability to provide template documents using a variety of format segments, including an auto-generated number drop-down list, uh, fixed text with placeholders or user input text or user entered uh, free text. So there's a lot of different ways of, of setting up your naming convention. Now, earlier we saw when we created the ECN as well as the transmittal that ADEP used our naming convention. So let's just take a quick peek at what some of the other options are. So if I come into the configuration tool for the auto naming feature, I can create any standard I would like. I can then uh, edit that standard. I can decide what the different pieces or segments of that naming convention are going to be. So an example here, all transmittals will have TR at the beginning, then a dash. Then in this case, I have a user input number another dash, and then the debt will automatically assign it a next available number. So you folks can create these and add new segments and change their segments. You can pick whatever type of pull downs that you want people to pick from or options. Um, this is very flexible. It's something that you can change and modify whenever you need to. Now, I know we've just come up on our time frame, um, but I would very much like to take a quick poll if you folks don't mind. So bear with me just for a second here. And I'm going to open up the polling. And let's go ahead and launch the first question. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead, whoops, go ahead and sh uh, select your favorite options in here. You can select multiples. And I'll give you just a couple minutes to go in and check off some of those.
Oh, and it looks like I accidentally double clicked and it closed that one. Let me give you the next one here. I apologize, folks. Uh, let's do this second one. There we go. So in this case, go ahead and check all that apply to you. And I'll present the answers in a couple minutes. I'll also go back to the first list and uh, bring that up, and maybe we can get some input or discussions on that. Now, as you guys can ima imagine, we, we hear these questions on a regular basis. Um, and all the previous times that we've taken polls like this at different trade shows and stuff, we've confirmed our beliefs in most cases. Every once in a while, we'll get a couple surpri uh, surprises. And I'm going to leave it open for about another minute or two, or another couple seconds, I mean. All right, I'm going to close it. And I'll share with you folks the results. As you can see, managing file relationships for multiple CAD apps. Definitely number one. Real close behind it, though, non-CAD users have no access to the engineering documents. Um, very consistent with what we've heard in the past. Um, if you would like to see just very quickly, I'm also going to show you the first one, just the list, so you get an idea. Out of this list, I'm going to share that. Out of this list here, by far the number one is little to no revision control, almost always. Um, usually that one's followed right behind closely with we can't find our files. Um, so thank you folks for, for that information. Um, I've got just a couple last slides here. And we've already done the polls. There we go. Come on. So if you would like to type in any questions, please do so. Um, we, you can type them in in the question area over on the right-hand side of your GoToMeeting. Um, we sincerely hope that the information we presented was valuable to you and that you can see that addressing these challenges your organization faces is something you can accomplish easily and quickly with ADEPT. We want to thank you all for taking the time to join us today, and we'll be happy to talk with you further about engineering document control challenges and needs.